Hey gang, uh, I'm going to show you how I did the tears and scratches on the fabric uh, in my latest piece um, using the uh, smart material that I created for uh, one of the fabric pieces as a base. I'm going to share that out with everybody. Uh, we'll have access to that and we'll be working on the head uh, on this uh, mat model. Uh, cool. So the first thing I want to do is I want to, black out, I want to block out the uh, basic shape of the scratch. So I'm going to create a fill layer. And all I want is the height and the color. I'm going to set the color to black. I'm going to set the height down a little bit. Uh, we can always tweak that later. I'm going to add a black mask onto this layer. And I'm going to use the chalk fold brush. Uh, I like the chalk brushes and the ink brushes for stuff like this because it's a nice uh, kind of uh, jagged edge to it, sharp edge. You can get some really nice organic shapes and some tears and whatnot uh, off of this. And I'm not being particular uh, about the shape. I'm trying to be a little free. And I'm just swapping back and forth between black and white using X uh, to you know, add and subtract my mask. Thing you should do in Photoshop, which is always handy. Oh, cool. Edges there. All right. Now I'm going to drop the color opacity uh, just so I can check the height and deepen this a little bit. There we go. Cool. So on top of this, I'm going to create a blank layer. And I'm going to be painting in this layer uh, using color and height. Let me grab my color and I'm going to sample the light color uh, here on the edges uh, for my material. I'm going to brighten that up just a bit. So I'm going to actually raise my height up. And, and typically I like to kind of overshoot um, the height because I'm going to be smudging this around. I'm going to, I can also go in and adjust the height afterwards with something like this on my, uh, my layers. Uh, so I'm going to try to overshoot rather than undershoot it. It just makes life a little bit easier for me on this. Uh, so now I'm going to come in, I'm going to add some height to the edge here. And don't worry if you, if you kind of slip up or, you know, you're not exact about the, uh, the edge here. Uh, because like right here, you know, you can see like if I, if I go over a little bit, uh, because of the, um, the layer underneath it that already has like a, a height subtracted, uh, when you're painting on top of that, so you're basically painting on top of this lower height and this mid height, um, and, and so that'll create kind of a, a middle of its own um, or another layer, right? And it's just gonna give it more depth, okay? So once that's done, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab a smudge brush. I'm going to use my smudge tool. And I'm going to use this, uh, I think it's a custom smudge brush I created. I'll include it in the, uh, in the, in the resources that I, that I give you guys and the smart materials and whatnot. So I'm just going to kind of come in here and start hitting the edges. No, I'm not worried about this center part. We can kind of, we can come in there. We can come in and clean that up with a mask in a little bit. Uh, I'm more concerned with the, kind of this outer edge. All right, and we're going to do layers and we're going to do a few layers and passes on this. So you know, so don't worry that it's subtle right now. We can always adjust this for how subtle you want yours to be uh, in the end result. All right, and this will also kind of create a kind of fall off of the height. So it'll give a subtle um, build up or ramp to the height, um, kind of make it seem like that let there, the, uh, that, that fabric is kind of coming up and kind of raising off and coming away from where that scratch is. All right, so grab my brush again, rinse and repeat. I'm just gonna come back in, add some more jagged edges. To me, this is one thing Substance does really well is it allows you to layer things up and get a real depth uh, to your your materials. So now I'm going to use a smudge, br smudge brush again, but instead of using the soft smudge brush, I'm using one that's slightly harder. Again, I think this is custom, but I'll include it. Uh, I'm just going to do the same thing I did before, just hitting those edges. If you see these edges getting a little too hard, you can kind of come in here a little bit closer to them. All right, now um, 
this is all starting to become a little bit muddy in here, right? So we need to clean that up. So I'm going to add a white mask. I'm going to go back up to my brush, make sure that's selected. I'm going to grab that chalk gold. And I'm going to come in here and start cleaning some of this up using the black. And again, it doesn't have to be precise because like any of the stuff you miss, any of the stuff you leave hanging out here, uh, it's just going to appear like it's, you know, another layer of, you know, fabric or whatnot that got kind of torn off and uh, it's just kind of hanging out. No worries. It's kind of stuff I like. I don't have to be super precise. I can be a little more artistic and a little, maybe not artistic, but just loose and free. It suits my personality better, I think. All right, then we're going to do another pass of painting. Go back to our paint layer. Make sure you're not on your mask layer. Got my height. I might turn my height up just a little bit for this one. All right. This should be our last painting pass for this layer. Come through here again. Got a few jagged edges here and there. All right, so now I'm gonna do a smudge brush again. We're not gonna use those, uh, those other ones. We're gonna use a basic soft. And what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and this is going to create like a, a pucker or a wrinkle uh, kind of feel. We're just going to kind of come up to the edge of our paint, painted layer. We're going to grab it and pull it out a little bit. We'll do that all the way down, all the way along. Just scratch or tear. Right. Some of the one, some of the, some spots you know, you're going to get more and drag out, you know, more and some are going to drag out less, and that's totally okay. We kind of, that's what we want. We don't want, we want irregularity, not regularity. A little more organic, more natural. That's what we're going for. Right, cool. So this looks like a mess, but that's all right. That's what we want. Uh, so now I'm going to go back to my smudge brush. I'm going to grab that slightly harder smudge brush in here and knock some of this back. Change my size a little bit so I can get a little bit closer. I'm not bearing down super hard until I get towards the outer edges. So if I come up here close, I, I don't bear down quite as much. Okay. So now that I have that, Go back up to my soft, and then instead of coming up here and pulling out, I'm going to come from the outside and push in. All right, kind of accentuate some of that puckering, some of those folds. Grab my soft smudge brush and we're just gonna knock some of this back. And again, when I'm closer up here to the front, I'm not bearing down as hard as I get further to the outside, bear down a little bit harder. That way, these kind of puckers and wrinkles appear to fade as they get further away from the source. All right, sweet. Looking good. All right, so now what we wanna do is we're gonna start adding in um, some like some thread wear, uh, sort of to where you're starting to see some of the threads that are that are underneath this base layer. All right, so I'm gonna create a new folder. We'll name this threads base. All right, and I'm gonna grab my material. I think this is a material that comes with Substance. If it isn't, you can get it on Substance Source. I think uh, maybe even Substance Share. And it's gonna be the linen burlap. I'm gonna drag that into this folder. And I want the scale, at least for my scene, to be 10. Uh, might be different for your scene. Uh, whatever you need it to be. And then I'm going to switch the color. Let's change it. Actually, let's, uh, let's put a black mask on this layer first, or on this folder. And then I'm going to grab my color. And I'm going to make it this brighter color here that we've been using. All right, let's put that set up. I might turn the brightness up on that just a little bit, maybe desaturate a tad. All right, cool. So now on this black mask, I'm going to grab a brush. Make sure my brush is selected. There we go. 
All right, and I'm gonna use this hatching brush here. And I'm just gonna, oh, one thing I need to do too, in addition to this linen burlap layer, the reason we're doing this in the folder, uh, I wanna add a layer with just height to it. And I'm gonna turn the height down. And this is just gonna give us a, a little bit of um, depth and, and a little to our, to our wear. Uh, and I'll, I'll definitely be turning this height down to where it's it's more something you feel than something you uh, necessarily actively see. So I'm just going to lightly start to paint in some of this uh, cross hatching and this kind of simulated thread uh, here around the tear. I'm going to come back in with black, knock some of it back. I want this to be more subtle, like it's not going to be a huge thing. You can be a little more artistic with it. You don't have to make it as regular, right? Some areas maybe not, uh, maybe it's not showing up at all. Uh, again, it's gonna be super subtle here. I'm gonna grab my height now, turn that down. Super subtle thing, like it's barely even noticeable, but it's there, you feel it. All right, let's continue to push that back a little bit more. Okay, cool. I think I'm okay with that. And I'm gonna grab my chalk bold again, come up here and clean up a little bit here in the middle. Again, totally okay. Like if some of this falls over and whatnot, totally cool. Like that's just gonna give us more info. We just want this main area to be cleaned up a bit. Okay, cool. So that is there. Uh, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the threads here in the middle. And what we're gonna do is that do that is we're gonna create a blank layer. So our new layer, we want color and height. Don't need roughness or any of this other stuff. All right, I'm gonna grab my color picker. Again, I'm gonna pick this light color, maybe shift it up just a tad. Turn my height up. All right, and then I'm gonna use, we're gonna go back to our brushes and we're gonna use this uh, hatching brush, but this time we're gonna modify it to take away this angle jitter. Might shift up just like three and then turn up our flow jitter a bit. All right, so what we're doing is we're gonna try to create, we're going to create um, the thread going you know, vertically, kind of with the, with the, the scratch and then against it uh, perpendicular um, to kind of simulate that kind of cross weave underneath. So I just need to adjust my angle until I have the right direction. All right, cool, that works for me. And I just kind of brush back and forth Oh, go back, I don't want it quite that dark, there we go. And then I'm going to change my rotation. So I have something perpendicular to what I just laid down. All right, I'm gonna brush the other direction. Add some of that in. There we go, so we get that nice kind of weave pattern in there real quickly with a little bit of layering. Uh, I'm gonna create a white mask on top of that and I'm gonna use a mask to Get rid of some of the stuff around the areas we don't need it. Okay. And then the last part is we're going to kind of come in here and we're going to add some little threads flying off and some thread bareness because right now it feels a little too clean. So we're gonna create another empty layer. Good, our settings came over. I'm gonna bump the height up just a little bit more. And then this time I'm just gonna use my chalk bold. Now we're gonna come in here, just add a few loose strands here and there. All right, I usually, Try to think a little bit about you know kind of the gravity and uh, or gravity and how things are kind of being pulled down. Maybe give like one one or two long strands here or there, depending on how frayed I want it to be. And then a few come up here and kind of come across these there. Oh, 
and a few connect. Try to bridge these as we get closer. And once you get down to here, have this kind of overlap, and you can have a few strands kind of broken out. Oh, one thing we might want to do, let's test this out. Take our height and add to normal. Maybe drop the opacity down just a bit so that it picks up a little bit of the existing height information, but also not too much because we want this to lay on top of things. Don't want Cal that piece, so I'm going to erase that a little bit. Here, erase the tool. Okay, that's going okay. Might do another pass and increase the height. Just a little bit more depth. Put some threads on top of these threads that are already there. Another thing you can do, um, in addition to these scratches, you know, something real quick that you can do, which is this one layer, uh, you can do these little kind of single scratches, like the, like snags in the fabric. I just like to kind of come around, make like a single line, then I kind of have it like dotted as it falls off, and then here and there you can add in these little threads that are kind of coming off and stuff, and then come in here with the smudge brush and use that stronger smudge just hit the top edge of it and right here at the ends you kind of come on top of that just a little bit you get some nice little snags here and there you can always come in and add a little bit more to it if you need all right same thing with like you know, these little pieces of snag here and there just adds a little interest to your fabric All right, cool. So that's the uh, tears and snags and rips on the fabric. Um, basically, right, so if we go back through this and just kind of summarize. Base layer, set up your shape, height, color, add in some uh, puckering and some wrinkles and some uh, gradation onto that. Come back in, add a little bit of breakup and some thread base. Fill in that empty area in the middle with some, uh, some cross weave. On top of that and then put in your threads uh, and your little extra tears and bits cool all right guys thanks for listening talk to you later